Welcome to the Joy of Music. Today we invite you to join us on a most unusual program, a musical journey up the St. Lawrence Seaway on the stunning MS Dreamwood, one of the most beautiful ships in the Norwegian Cruise Line family. We depart from New York City, and one of our first sights is the Statue of Liberty. Our other ports of call include Boston, Massachusetts, Portland, Maine, Halifax, Newfoundland, Quebec City, and Montreal. We think you'll enjoy this journey. Whether arriving or departing from the harbor of New York City, without doubt the most moving moment in any journey is the sight of the Statue of Liberty, the symbol of democracy around the world. As a citizen of the United States, an immigrant to this country, or a foreigner from distant lands, this is a sight which will stir your soul and remain for years to come as a moment to remember. On our way to the St. Lawrence River, after leaving New York City, we arrive in Boston. A visit to Boston is truly a refreshing experience. The fresh air, the cool breezes, and a very powerful sense of history. The first permanent colonists arrived in Boston in 1630. They were led by Puritan John Winthrop and named their settlement for Boston, England. The settlers' ambition was to build the New Jerusalem, a city set on a hill. Boston thrived, and by the 1700s had grown to be one of the most important seaports and trading centers on the Northeast Coast. At the heart of Boston stands historic Trinity Church, which was constructed from 1872 to 1877. The interior of Trinity Church is one of the most beautiful in all of North America. Decorated by the artist John Lafarge, the murals in the church are said to be some of his best work. Both inside and out, Trinity Church has been recognized over the years as a powerful architectural statement and a landmark in the city of Boston.
Boston, Massachusetts, we come to the port of Portland, Maine. It reminds us a little bit of San Francisco, although it's much smaller, with a population around 65,000. Yet, this New England city has a rich sense of place all its own. One needs to spend time down by the docks, which bustle with lobster boats, ferries, and mail boats making their rounds among the islands in Casco Bay. You'll have no trouble remembering that you are in Maine. Maine is known as the pine tree state because 90% of the land is forested. It is also known for other things. It is the largest producing state of wooden sailing ships in the United States. It produces more lobster than any place in the country, and you can even find lobster on the menu at McDonald's. It produces 90% of the blueberries grown in the United States. And if you think about it, the Christmas tree that you'll have in your house this year may have come from Maine. As we make our way toward Halifax on our St. Lawrence journey, we see familiar sights of fishermen mending their nets. Seagulls calling back and forth across the water and multicolored fishermen's houses. Hear the Atlantic waves crashing against rocky shorelines Standing sentry over it all is a picturesque, whitewashed lighthouse. Such scenes are commonplace in the colorful fishing villages that make up the coastline near Halifax.
between port cities, we experienced great pleasure on the ship. There was never a lack of something interesting to do on the MS Dreamward. We always looked forward to delicious meals, breakfasts, lunches, and dinners, including the midnight buffet. Once in a while, we would weigh ourselves and then hurry down to the exercise machines. There was always happy conversation with friends, parties with tour members, and the captain's reception. But most of all, we relaxed and enjoyed the beauty of both the sea and the landscape. In our arrival at the port of Halifax, we were welcomed by the happy music of bagpipers. In our visit to Halifax, we stopped by the old St. Mary's Basilica which dates back to the 1800s. Housed inside this beautiful church is one of the great organs here in Halifax. It was built by the Cassavant Organ Company in 1960, and it was a thrill for us to play this instrument of three manuals and 45 ranks. <laughs>
On our journey from New York City up the St. Lawrence Seaway, we have experienced many beautiful sights. From the stunning skyline of New York City and the Statue of Liberty, to the fishing boats and lighthouses of Maine and Nova Scotia, the blazing color of fall foliage and the pounding surf against the shore. In our October journey, we have felt the beauty of sunshine, clouds, rain, and even snow. In all these things, we are reminded of the well-known hymn of faith, For the Beauty of the Earth. For the beauty of the earth, for the glory of the skies, for the love which from our birth over and around us lies. Lord of all, to thee we raise this our hymn of grateful praise. From Halifax, we travel on to Quebec City. Quebec City is beautifully situated in and around a steep palisade that cuts into the St. Lawrence River, where it offers wonderful views of the river, mountains, cliffs, and islands. The city's fascinating culture and history are immediately evident beyond the walls of the old city. Dominated by 19th and early 20th century Victorian mansions, the Grand Alley is considered the smaller version of the Champs-Élysées in Paris, with its many small cafes, 
bistros and restaurants. Thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music as we have brought you a musical journey up the St. Lawrence Seaway. In our October journey, our ports of call have been New York City, Boston, Portland, Maine, Halifax, Nova Scotia, Quebec City, and Montreal, Canada. Thank you so much for joining us and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music. like to purchase today's program or any program in our library of over 400 videos and CDs from the great organs and historic churches of the world, please call 1-800-933-4844. We hope to hear from you.